Uh, this is a, a practice of a major chords three notes the first, the third and the fifth all of them on a tenor guitar that is tuned in fifth, fifth. oh, I did um, I jotted down from a online mandolin course finder, and uh, the problem is uh, if we have to, if you need to find the F, the chord shape is a C, and then you have to see if this chord shape is playable on a tenor guitar, which is different, or is bigger. Okay, first I uh, of each chord I copied all over the different um, for example this is an F and the root of the chord is on the third string so D D flat D F so obviously the root of the chord the, the chord shapes you start watch uh, sorry you start uh, seeing when you don't have not fret strings, so this is F sharp. Okay, this is F. You can also have this. It's a good option to have two different. I prefer this because the instrument is already. strings unless you do that on purpose for some reason the melody or want you have some brightness okay then you have for example the root of the chord also on the first strings this is F and this is a, a another chord shape then you need to find the way to play it and this is the way to play it otherwise it's very the moment you use this you do, you cannot have this so you have to parade and the two chord shapes that I used here for the F are here Sorry if my um, slop way of showing things. Well, that it was. Uh, it's a good exercise. You do your book, and you you do you do your homework, and you write down in your book. You jot it down. <coughs> so not only we learn chord shape. We but we'll start learning the fretboard. The other one is just the ninth fret. What I use is okay. Actually, I put the dot in the uh, check. Eh? Okay, the chord is C major. On the okay, and that. Okay, I made a mistake putting dots because these dots are the mandolin. So, ninth fret 
as a dot on the mandolin but not here so I have to erase this reference point my mistake you see you always make mistakes I always make mistake so the ninth uh, actually the, the dot is here on the third so pay attention to the dot on the chord finder because the dot the dot is not on the ninth fret it's on the tenth fret so I have to readjust all this dot thing and check them all of them and this is the third chord shape where actually the root of the chord is on the third string Okay, this is a tedious um, work of uh, checking what you've been doing. And I did that for all of them and I to um, check all the dot stuff because I made a mistake. Because I assumed that the, the third dot was here but it's here on a guitar. You always learn something. The se and I did it for all of um, the... the notes 12 and then I did the basic chords <coughs> of um, you can play here this size of the neck uh, of all chord shapes so the first chord shape is C and you actually start um, the root of the chord opposite so the first so this is uh, sorry I don't know if you can see this is uh, D flat and this is D and this is the actual chords that you learn uh, first and this is E flat and this is E to move I play like this I should play like this but that knowing that I have to move to if there is a chromatic thing and this is the last one I use then I could use this but actually I use the other chord shapes and go back here so I move to another chord shapes and here is F and root of the chord is on the we've seen that before just in this. So this is F sharp, this is G, okay this is the three most useful, just three of actually most of the time you play like this okay obviously depending on the progression if you are able to move to this chord which is more difficult <coughs> if you're moving, moving from
chromatically. It's easier to do to do this than to do. Even if with practice you can do mostly anything, it takes a lot of practice. Then you have the other chord shape, the, the root of the chord is on the second string, third string, my mistake. This is A flat. Okay, I show you because sometimes we've been practicing the F, F sharp, G, and we're moving to A flat. Sometimes you fret well, like I did just then. You see? To make each string ring to check if you placed your fingers right. Your A. I usually, in this case, avoid this for reasons because in this case I can play twice the root of the chord instead of but when I move I cannot do it so this <coughs> Because here up the neck uh, there's more distance, so if you're beginners, remember what doesn't play at the beginning, in the long run it will. Even if you know mandolin chords, these are instruments you have to try and see if they So you have until the last one is B. If this is the chord, this is the string, and you then arrange your fingers with the chord shape. You have the usual G that you play, and also this can become, even if not used, but I made it. A flat and A. So we have this option up the neck. Actually, the root of the chord is on the same string. On the string. I can also use this. Well, it doesn't ring well here. Well, it takes time to understand which one you see. When you go up the neck, like a B flat, the other option. becomes more handy until you come to the C. So do that several times. Uh, this is just the beginning. Do your uh, chord shape uh, arrangement. You see I start from the same chord shape here. Sorry, the camera is on the yeah. And the, I play all the chord shapes until I move to the other one. You see. 
and I move to the other one. So the fact actually that you do your homework if you learn in a book, uh, there are not many books, you can find a, a banjo, tenor banjo, but online I don't find uh, um, anything like this. Uh, so there is a specific book for chords for tenor guitar, but you will order and buy it. And this is a makeshift wave of starting doing your homework and working on the strings and on the chord shapes find several chord shapes and even with the other have all this up the neck and remember the dot problem the dot on the mandolin is dots on the mandolin are different so the best thing is now we check all of them and I rearrange the dots because when you play here, dots are very important. Goodbye.